Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the purpose of a uh, semi-automatic magazine-fed shotgun. Okay, uh, what I have here is a Lynx 12. Okay, basically this is a um, um, it, it's an AK-47 shotgun. Okay, uh, so what is the purpose? Why would somebody want a gun like this as opposed to a traditional pump? Okay, um, well for one thing, if, if, if you if you if, if you like busting clay birds. Um, and you have an, an electronic uh, clay thrower, you know, uh, you can set that so that it's shooting the clay birds out every, you know, uh, two seconds or a second and a half, uh, and you can really, you know, go to town with this thing, okay? And you can quickly change out those magazines, um, you know, and, and keep shooting, uh, and that's a lot of fun, okay? So, but besides that, okay, uh, this has a tactical training um, purpose as far as I'm concerned, okay? Now, usually when people are training with AKs and ARs, okay, um, you know, we are constrained in that we have to shoot into a backstop. We have to shoot into a into a safe area. Um, and the ammunition out of either a standard AK or AR-15, you know, it can travel for about, you know, two to three miles if you, if you shoot it at a high angle, okay? Um, so, so, you know, unless you have a lot, a lot of property, you cannot shoot uh, at high angles, okay? Um, and that's particularly important if you are, you know, simulating, you know, having been, you know, being attacked, falling down your back and, and, and shooting at an attacker that's basically jumping on you. You know, you have to simulate that high angle and, and, and you just can't do it. And we usually cheat that, you know, instead of shooting the high angle, you know, we lower the angle and we're shooting it to a backstop. With a, um, you know, a, uh, this type of a gun, with a Lynx 12, okay, uh, we can we can shoot those high angles safely because basically we're shooting birdshot, okay? And of course the gun will shoot other things. It'll shoot shugs, slugs, it'll shoot um, uh, buckshot. Uh, but, but for training purposes, we can load this with birdshot, which has a limited range of about, you know, 200 to 300 feet, okay? And we can shoot very high angles safely, okay? Even if you have a small property, you know, of let's say, you know, five to 10 acres, you know, you can do this. You can shoot in all sorts of directions uh, safely okay um, now another advantage to um, you know doing tactical training um, with a uh, you know with this type of a shotgun right is that we can shoot steel up close okay right in front of me over there I got a steel plate okay, about, a, about a quarter inch thick okay I would not shoot this with an AK or an AR at this range when I shoot steel okay I'm usually shooting it at a much further distance okay um, but with 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 an AK style shotgun uh, we can we can do that close up shooting um, at relatively safely okay? as long as we've got our eye protection you know um, that's safe so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate that right now okay so again even though this is it's a shotgun okay we're basically using it as an AK and, and, and we're gonna do the type of tactical training that we would like to do with an AK Put that sucker in there. okay we, we would like to do with an AK but we can't uh, for safety purposes okay? So that is an example of what you can do with a magazine-fed semi-automatic shotgun. Um, you know, and I would like to do that with my AR-15 or with my AK, but it just wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be safe to be shooting at steel that close. It would not be safe to be shooting at a high angle like that, okay? Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about this uh, Lynx 12. My my first uh, shotgun of this style was the Sega 12, uh, and I loved it so much that I, I bought two of them. And over the last six years, I basically put about 30,000 rounds uh, through each of them. Okay, now uh, that's a lot of you know that's a lot of use. Okay, now the weak point of the Sega 12 was where the bolt attaches to the piston. Okay. And, and what happened is, uh, through the high usage uh, on one of those Segas at, at around, somewhere around 30,000 rounds, the bolt started, that, that, that connection point started cracking, okay? And I tried welding it back together and I just made a bigger mess out of it. So basically that gun is out of service. 
The second one that I have that has about the same usage, um, it's still running well, but I can see signs of stress at that same point where the, the, the piston connects to the bolt. Okay. Now with the uh, um, with the Cheetah 12, they basically used a, a, a similar design. Basically, the Cheetah 12 kind of came, you know, after the Sega 12. Uh, you know, we can't import the Segas anymore, so basically China started copying them, and um, you know, so so basically that's the next gun. Uh, that I moved to the Cheetah 12 and I had all sorts of problems with the Cheetah 12 um, Number one it would not cycle cheap bird shot, which is what I'm using right here. Okay, um, and um, When I put more expensive uh, bird shot into it uh, basically the dust cover would blow off. Okay, so so um, That gave me problems and um, the company that imports uh, that was importing the Cheetah 12 is also the one that imports the, the Lynx 12 uh, the name is uh, SDS imports and their customer service was great. I mean, I was very happy with it. Um, one of the nice things is every time I called them up, uh, I actually, I always got a live person that would answer the phone uh, within two or three rings, and it was actually the technician answering the phone. Uh, so, so that means a lot to me, you know, as, as a consumer. Um, so the actual te technician was answering the phone um, in the event, you know, in the case where I had to send that Cheetah 12 in for some, you know, for them to try and tweak it, um, uh, they had the gun back to me within a week, okay, um, which, which I thought was phenomenal. And I've worked with other larger uh, firearms companies, and it could take, you know, a couple of months, okay. So getting the gun back to me, delivered to my house within a week without no fuss uh, w was a great thing. So, so, uh, so I, I'm, I'm loving SDS imports for that, okay. Um, I, when I bought this gun, um, I bought this gun from uh, um, Classic Firearms. Um, Paid five hundred dollars for it, which I think is a, you know a great deal. Uh, it came with two uh, free ten-round magazines. Now those magazines, uh, you know, they did get those magazines gave me a problem. Okay, uh, and and when I and basically uh, SDS has has fixed that. They're, they're sending me out uh, replacement magazines. Okay, so 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 again, I think SDS is doing a great job. I'm very happy with them. Um, and that's important to me because, um, you know, I want to basically put maybe another, you know, close to a thousand rounds through this gun. And at that point, I'm going to buy another one. Okay, I want to have two of these, uh, just because I do that much shooting. I do, you know, I, 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 you know, I train people. I travel all over the northeastern part of the United States, and I train people. So I need uh, good, reliable guns that that will work. And you know, uh, you know, I just need to put another thousand rounds through this, and I'm good to go. I'm getting another one. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this gun is that they 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 fixed uh, that that issue I was having with the Sega 12 because remember when I said the uh, the piston and the bolt were two separate pieces that were connected well the the piston bolt is one solid piece on this okay so it's no longer two separate pieces that are connected uh, the piston and the bolt are a single unit uh, that that you know it looks like it's it's, it's, it's milled um, so it's a single unit uh, and, and and it doesn't have that that weak point. Okay, um, so so I really like that that they that they made that change. I like that the charging handle is on on the right side, just like a standard AK-47. Uh, the Cheetah 12 had it on the left side. I, I, I'm not sure what they were trying to do with that, but um, you know, again, I like this. Basically, to me, this is an AK-47 substitute. You know, I, I'm using this gun like an AK. Uh, so I want it to, to function and feel just like an AK, okay? And, you know, on my AKs, I have the collapsible stock, which is why I immediately took off the stock that came with this gun, and I put on a collapsible stock. So, again, it, it, it functions and it feels just like my, my AK uh, when I'm training with that, okay? Um, if, if I could actually make a suggestion to this company, it would be, you know, stop sending those, you know, basically make these standard, you know? The, you know and these things are not that expensive. Um, you know, this is like one of those really cheap ones that, that usually come with ARs. Um, you know, I, I would recommend that they make this standard on the uh, on these uh, on the Lynx 12. You know, ship it out with the collapsible stock. Um, you know, it's probably you know not going to cost that much more. Uh, you know, you know price wise or cost wise for the company. So so I would recommend they they, they go straight to that. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the on the Lynx 12. Uh, so far, I'm loving it and. You know, I just wanted to demonstrate, you know, the purpose of this. How can you use this? You know, basically you can use this as you would an AK or AR-15, uh, but you can safely do things with this gun that you would not be able to safely do with AKs and ARs, such as shooting steel at close distance and shooting really high angles. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
cool stuff.